Monday, October 1st. Find seats of your choice. Uh, think about number 10, Is Fire Alive? We'll be spending some time with it today. And be sure to check out the new hall passes we have for you on the wall near the sign-out. Our outcomes have some new topics. Uh, this week we're going to talk about what a cell is, uh, understand where it fits in the whole scale of our biological world and how we'll approach the rest of the year, understand how cells provide the tools to accomplish the characteristics of life, how you get a chance to highlight and proofread as part of the writing process. You'll watch a short video to learn about the scale we referred to in earlier in the biological world, and then you'll have some time to study a quiz set to begin to learn the cell parts or cell organelles as they're called. Um, so here's our plan. We're going to take number 10. We're going to review the list on the next screen. Uh, we're going to unsubmit our work. We're going to highlight the characteristics we've already written about. If we need time to write about more, we will. Suggest a quick proofread from a friend and then resubmit. I've changed the date to today as a due date to give you a chance to do that and not worry about it showing up late for those of you that, that bothers. Uh, the World Tour is 5-Minute Amoeba Sisters video. They always do a great job of helping us learn science, and this time they talk about the levels of biological organization in the world. Um, we'll also introduce some things smaller than cells. In other words, we'll take a cell and we'll learn about organelles and then talk about DNA and biomolecules over the next day or two. So here is the characteristics of life I had mentioned in the previous screen. Uh, we start with a biology song. I'm um, added develop. There's a few things we could add to this list, but right now I want to focus on these as the core. We'll go into cells and DNA, heredity, and that sort of stuff over the next couple of days. But uh, the list on the left should be present in your response on number 10. Uh, if not, they should be words that mean the same thing. Um, I use some different colored lines to tie together some, some of the uh, more advanced terms that you might run across. Uh, for example, metabolism could replace eat, excrete, and breathe, depending on how you explain it. Homeostasis can tie in uh, almost everything on that list, depending on how you explain it. Uh, but if you don't know what metabolism and homeostasis are, stay away from them for now until you go learn what they are. Just attack the 7th grade version, uh, and that will be the end of our time.